Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the latest box set edition that came from Aero Video. And if you can see here in the lower left hand corner, it is under the Aero Academy label. And this is the Rainer Werner Fassbinder collection. It is 10 films on 7 Blu-rays. And it also comes with a 200 page hardcover book. And I will get into all the specs and I will show you the book. We'll get into all that good stuff here, but I'll tell you a little bit about the box set first before we get into that stuff. This is an Arrow Video Online exclusive. And it is limited to 1,000 pieces. And right now it's on sale. I believe there's a little bit less than half of the stock left. So you may want to jump on this before too long, before you miss out on it. Um, it's going for roughly $110 US dollars with the conversion rate and I pre-ordered this one back last November today is March 29th I got it in the mail today so very happy to get this and when they first introduced this into their catalog they wanted uh, I believe it was like around 158 bucks so you're saving about 50 bucks right now if you pick this up and for you um, completists out there or you know all you arrow fans who, who love their box sets you may want to go over there right now and uh, jump on this one but keep in mind though that this is a German director uh, Rainer Werner Fassbinder was a German director who passed away at age 37 back in 1982 from a cocaine barbiturates overdose um, unfortunately this box set is in German language only but it does have removable English subtitles so you can read along so for those of you out there who it's a deal breaker if it's in a foreign language you may not want to jump on this one but for me um, the love I have for Aero Video and the beautiful box sets that they put out especially the limited edition ones I knew I had to grab this so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the spine now here you, you've been looking at the front for a couple minutes already and there you can see the 10 titles of the films that are in this box set and there's only one Fassbender movie that I've ever seen and it's not even in this box set it was a gangster film and it was called Love is Colder Than Death and it came out in 1969 when he was only 24 years old and I thought it was a pretty good movie. I like gangster films, so I wish it would have been included in this box set. But here is a look at the Blu-rays here. And you can see that they have numbers on the spines down here. One through seven, and then here is the 200 page hardcover book. And then uh, let's see what it has on the bottom. I'm not even sure. It just says, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that with the glare, but it says over here it's um, anamorphic widescreen. It has uh, mono sound. The films are color and black and white. It's in German language, um, English subtitles, and it's um, region B. So there are no DVDs in this box set, but the region, the Blu-rays are region B. And then here it says it's uh, rated 15 for strong language, strong sex, sexualized nudity, sex references, violence, and racism. And for those of you that don't know much about Rainer Werner Fassbinder, he was kind of a controversial director. He didn't really get much love and support in his country of Germany at first. Um, he would get a lot of mixed reviews on his films. And a lot of people would call him a homophobe, and a lot of people thought he was a sexist. And that was in his own country, but once um, critics from like England and the U.S. started to watch his movies, he kind of gained a cult following, and then he started to make it pretty big. And I believe he ended up making over 40 films before he died at age 37. So let's go ahead and read a little bit on the back here. It says, Fassbinder died at the age of just 37, but left behind a remarkable legacy. 
His career as filmmaker lasted less than two decades, yet he managed to direct 40 features, two TV series, and numerous stage productions. This remarkable output created some enduring classics and alongside the works of Werner Herzog, Wim Wenders, Volker Schlandorf, and Alexander Kluge brought new German cinema to an international audience. And it says the Fassbinder collection brings together 10 of the director's finest, including his feature debut, Love is Colder Than Death. So it is in here. Love is, Col Love is Colder Than Death is in here. But I didn't see that listed here. Very weird. Okay, so it is included in here. Um, then it has uh, Katzelmacher. I apologize if I butcher these uh, names. Beware of a Holy Whore, The Merchant of Four Seasons, The Bitter Tears of Petra von Kant, and I'm sure some of you guys have seen that one. That one's very popular. That's one of his best films. I've never seen it, but I've heard a lot of things about The Bitter Tears of Petra von Kant. Fear Eats the Soul, Effie Breist, Fox and His Friends, Chinese Roulette, and The Marriage of Maria Braun. And they're all... 4K restorations from original camera negatives, um, original uncompressed mono audio, optional English subtitles. Now this is where it starts to get good. This is where Arrow is really good at um, putting bonus features out and stuff like that. It has six audio commentaries, and it lists the movies that it does have the commentaries for. I'm not going to get into all that. It has two early short films by Fassbender. The Little Chaos and the City Tramp. So that's awesome that Arrow throws that in for you. Uh, My Name is Not Ali, Viola Shafik's 2011 feature length documentary on the life and death of El Heidi Ben Salam, <laughs> star of Fear Eats the Soul, has a newly filmed interview with actor Lou Castle on Beware of a Holy Whore. Doesn't that title sound awesome? I'm going to check that one out. Beware of a Holy Whore. <laughs> His newly filmed interviews with actor Uli Lamel on Love is Colder Than Death, Effie Breist and Chinese Roulette. It has newly filmed interviews with director of photography Jürgen Jurgis on Fear Eats the Soul and Effie Breist. It has the Fassbinder family, an all-new featurette detailing the actor's work with Fassbinder time and again throughout his career. Excuse me, guys. It has Life Stories, a conversation with R.W. Fassbinder, a 50-minute interview with the director, conducted for German television in 1978. End of a Commune, that's uh, Joachim von Mengershausen's 1970 documentary portrait of Fassbinder and his troupe including rare footage of the actors rehearsing in Love is Colder Than Death at the 1969 Berlin Film Festival. This thing is just packed with bonus features, guys. It has role play, Women on Fassbinder, a 1992 documentary containing interviews with four of the director's leading ladies, Margit Kastensen, Erm Herman, who um, I know... Fassbender had a love-hate relationship with Erm Herman, and I guess he beat the hell out of her one time in the 70s. Um, Hannah Shigula and Russell Zetsch. And I really apologize if I butchered those names. Um, has Love, Life, Love, and Cellul Celluloid, a 1998 feature-length documentary on Fassbender. Written and directed by his regular editor, Julianne Lorentz. It has uh, Rainer Werner Fassbinder, a 1977 candid 30-minute interview with the director. It has original theatrical trailers. And it has a 200-page hardback book, exclusive to this edition, this box set here. And it contains all new writings by Tony Raines, Gertrude Koch, Michael Pattison, Nick Pinkerton, Ashley Clark, Erica Carter, 
Alex Davidson, Glenn Kenny, and Margaret Darius. So that was a mouthful, guys. So that, I mean, you can see from here to here, it's just packed with special features. And I'm going to dump this stuff out here, and we're going to go through it one by one. I don't know if any of these have reversible covers or anything. The first thing I noticed was the cases are thin. They're not the traditional thick UK cases. These are more of the, these are kind of like the US style cases. But they look nice. They're uh, the clear plastic. And this is the early works. Comes with Little Chaos, The City Tramp, Love is Colder Than Death, and Katzelmacher. And this is spine number one. And again, it just shows the special features. I'm not going to go through that again. Okay, they don't come with a booklet, but they do have reversible art. There's the disc art there. And then there's the inside image, and there's Fassbender right there on the right. I know he liked to think of himself as a nonconformist, and he used to wear his black leather jacket. He would wear the battered fedora, and he would wear um, black sunglasses, and he, he was kind of a badass. I think he was way ahead of his time, and it's a shame that he died so early. This one here is The Merchant of Four Seasons and Holy Horror. Beware of a Holy Horror. I just got a low battery alert on my phone, so I'm going to have to kind of speed this up a little bit. There's the disc art. There's the inside image. And that is number two. Number three here is The Bitter Tears of Petra von Kant, and this is a pretty popular film. This is has a cult classic status, and there's the disc. And there's the inside imagery. Really nice. I bet these look nice. I haven't popped them in yet. I just got this. I wanted to shoot a quick video. But the 4K restorations that Arrow's, Arrow puts out are phenomenal. And this is Fear Eats the Soul. It's number four. There you see the disc. And there's the inside image. He used to make a lot of controversial material in his films. He would have uh, homosexuality or he would have um, uh, big age differences in lovers. You know, like he would have like 40 years difference between a man and a woman, that kind of stuff. And this one is Effie Breist. Effie Breist? I'm not exactly sure if that's Effie Breist or Breist. That was, uh, that was number five. This is six here. Fox and his friends and Chinese roulette. And this one here um, was the topic of homosexuality. And there's Fassbender on the left. And in the movie, he was having a um, homosexual relationship. So he was not afraid to push the boundaries of taboo, even back in the 80s, 70s and 80s. This is spine number seven here, The Marriage of Maria Braun. This is supposed to be one of his better films here. There's the inside image. That's the final disc there. Then we'll kind of get into the book here a little bit. Not going to go through the whole thing, but I'll just kind of flip through. My battery is just about to die here. But it's a really, really nice. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up the quality, but these um, these pages are kind of a bright, it's like a greenish yellow. Now it's kind of turning into a bright yellow. And it just has kind of a 70s vibe to it. 60s and 70s vibe. But I mean, this is just gorgeous. A really nice set. Arrow has done another fine job another home run here and I gotta say even without popping this in to look at any of these this is definitely definitely worth a buy to you collectors out there has everything that the collector wants it's limited it's a beautiful set um, and it's an exclusive so you know it has all the 
all the markings of a beautiful collector's set here. Very, very nice. I'm sure many of you have already pre-ordered this or maybe got it already now in the mail today. And just one more time, I wanted to kind of show the box. And it's a very sturdy, thick, heavy box. And it's about the same size as the um, Vincent Price Gothic Tales box set. About the same size, I would say. It's very sturdy. And I chose to keep the plastic on, so I s carefully sliced it so that the plastic will still stay on and kind of protect the uh, case. But guys, that is my review. My Not really a review. I guess it's more of an unboxing of the Fastbender collection from Arrow Video. Limited to 1,000. Arrow Online store exclusive. So go ahead and check that out. Go over and keep supporting Arrow. Because they're going to take that money and put out another good box set eventually. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Comment below. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Catch you guys later.